The Earth's surface may feel still, but it's actually made up of huge plates that move constantly. These tectonic plates slide, crash, and pull apart over time. In one specific region of Africa, this movement is now happening more clearly than ever before. This special place is called the Afar region, located mainly in modern-day Ethiopia. It's a dry and extreme environment on the surface, but underneath, one of Earth's most powerful geological events is unfolding in plain sight. Here, the land is literally tearing apart. That's extremely rare because it usually happens beneath oceans where we can't see it. But in the Afar Desert, this process is happening above ground, allowing scientists to study it in real time. In this region, three massive tectonic plates meet. The African Plate, the Somali Plate, and the Arabian Plate. These plates have been drifting apart for more than 30 million years, but recently, the movement has sped up. Back in 2005, a powerful volcano called Dabahu erupted unexpectedly. In just a few days, the ground split open across 37 miles, exposing glowing magma. It was like watching millions of years of change happen in just a week. That eruption triggered over 130 earthquakes, shaking nearby towns and terrifying residents. Massive cracks, nearly three feet wide, ripped through the earth. Homes were destroyed. Livestock disappeared into the shifting ground. People had to run from their villages. What looked like a disaster actually became a major discovery. Scientists realized the Afar Rift looked very similar to the one under the Atlantic Ocean. In both places, molten rock rises to the surface, cools, and creates new crust. Normally, this kind of activity takes place deep under the sea, but in Ethiopia, it's happening in open air. That makes this one of the very few chances in history to watch an ocean being born from the ground up. If the process continues, the Somali plate could eventually break off completely. This would allow ocean water to rush in, creating a new sea. That sea would likely connect to the Red Sea, flooding the rift with water and forming an entirely new coastline. Imagine standing in a barren desert and then watching waves crash in, slowly transforming it into a beachfront. This shift will be slow, but it is already in progress, and it will forever change how Earth looks. As this rift widens, it could also lead to the formation of new mountain ranges. These mountains might grow tall enough to rival the Himalayas or the Andes. That's because when plates pull apart or crash, the crust bends and rises, forming towering peaks. This process, called orogeny, creates massive landscapes shaped by volcanoes and rising magma. These new mountains might one day host unique ecosystems full of plants and animals never seen before. Just like the Andes Mountains, where spectacled bears live in high, isolated habitats, East Africa could develop new zones where rare animals evolve in response to different climates and elevations. These elevated areas will have microclimates, meaning the weather and environment can vary widely in just a small area. This will allow many species to thrive in pockets of biodiversity. But these changes won't just affect animals. The new landforms could shift rain patterns, change wind flows, and lead to climate changes across East Africa. This may impact where people live, farm, and build their futures. Millions of lives could be directly influenced. Farmlands might become dry or flooded. New fertile valleys could open up. Some places may become uninhabitable, while others could become centers of growth and opportunity. Even though this change comes with risks, it also reminds us that the Earth is alive. The planet's surface isn't fixed. Continents are always moving, and now, we get to watch it happen with our own eyes. For many, this is no longer just something read in textbooks. It's real, and it's happening today in the Afar region. It gives us a look into the true power of the planet, and how Earth is always evolving. But what about the people who live there? Many locals are already being affected. Roads have cracked. Homes are sinking. Some areas are no longer safe. Farmers see their fields slowly breaking apart. At the same time, this might bring unexpected benefits. The splitting land could reveal new resources, like valuable metals or geothermal energy. These could boost the local economy and create new jobs. 
However, it will take planning and cooperation between governments and scientists to protect the communities. They must act fast and wisely, because the land is literally moving beneath their feet. Creating an ocean takes millions of years, but it all starts with small signs, quakes, eruptions, and cracks. For the first time in history, we're seeing the start of an ocean with our own eyes. It's like watching the first page of a new chapter in Earth's story being written. This isn't science fiction. It's truly happening. Scientists now have a living lab to test how oceans form, how magma turns into land, and how life adapts to the shifting Earth. It's not just geologists who are watching. Biologists, ecologists, and climate experts are closely following too. As geography changes, so do the ecosystems, animal migrations, and climate zones. This future ocean won't just be a spot on the map. It will support new industries. Fishing could become vital. Boats may one day cross where camels once walked. New coastal cities could rise, offering jobs and trade, but also storm threats. Freshwater from mountain springs could be used for farming. These mountain regions might attract tourists and scientists alike. New species may hide there, escaping from climate-threatened areas elsewhere. But progress comes with loss too. Some communities might need to relocate. Sacred cultural sites could vanish underwater. Traditions could be lost if the land they rely on disappears. That's why it's important to treat this process with care and respect. The Earth is showing us how powerful and alive it is. This African transformation teaches us how the continents we know today were formed, and how they'll change again. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.